What goes on, guys? We're back here again with yet another review, and today we're going to be taking a look at a, the not so brand new, but still new ish, new enough for me to want to talk about it Premium DNA's Battle Toads. We're going to be taking a look at rats and zits. Rash and zits. Uh, thinking about it, I don't know which one's which right now. Um, I think this one's rash. Is it? I don't know. Well, we're going to be taking a look at the box anyway, so I think this one's rash. These are kind of, yeah, here's Rash. Hard to get them out of the box, but this looks awesome. You get to see all the characters on the side there, all the accessories that come with the figure. There's a barcode. I found mine at FYE. I hate shopping there, but they were running a promotion of buy one, get one 50% off, even though they put stickers on the um, price here. You can see on this one, that says $59.99, but of course, when I wanted to get them, they're $64.99. FYE is a terrible company. Don't buy from them unless, you know, you're aware of that. But for me, they're cheaper with the, with that. I guess they were a little bit cheaper than they would be off of Amazon. And then we have Zits here. Man, that's a tight fit for that. Zits. Same artwork on the side. You get a little bit of difference on the bottom. Get the barcode there and some sprites from the game. So, yeah, I know these have been out for a little bit, and I'm sure people have already been doing reviews on them, but I finally got my hands on them, and I'm pretty damn excited about that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop these toads. So tearing these toads out of the packaging. Ooh, Batman jump scare. These are pretty damn cool. I actually like them more than I thought I would. They're a lot more fun to pose around than they would look. And I was not expecting that. So it was a very pleasant supply. So, <clears throat> surprise. There is a lot to go over with these guys. So we're going to start with Rash. And then we'll go to Zits. Because I think I like Zits more. But I'm not exactly sure. So let's go ahead and start with Rash. Taking a look at this head sculpt here. Look at those teeth. Very cleanly painted. Very, very nice. I also want to address the elephant in the room in the fact of, please make pimple, please, I hate when companies do that, when they make all these like side characters and they don't finish the main cast, or when they take forever to make the main cast, I don't even know if this company's still around, like I don't know, I haven't heard anything from them in a while, but please make pimple, I really, really would like to finish the trio here, that would really suck if they didn't, it makes no sense that they made all these like side characters and you didn't even finish like the main cast so if anybody knows if they have announced that they're making him let me know because he's probably my favorite but ugh, man that's that sucks but i really hope they get around to him but for now i'm happy to be taking a look at these the arms look great these bands are separate pieces so they may fall around but they're they for the most part they stay pretty good i love the green paint on him the belt looks great he has a little toad butt um the glasses do come off. You see his creepy ass eyes. Weird looking dude. And they do clip in and they stay on very good. Get his knee pads. They look nice. And then you get his feet, which are very important to rash here. So, yeah. I think they look great. I love the proportions of the sculpt. I mean, basing it off of, like, what they, um, you know, are in the video game, it's like, Taking that design and making it into a figure like this, I would imagine, is kind of difficult. But they did a really good job. And all the paint is very clean and stuff. I like that all over his cutaneous, respirating skin. So let's go ahead and jump into accessories. So I tried to organize them as best as I could. But then, of course, I had to take some pictures. So then they got mixed up again. But I know which is I know which. Is which. So he's going to get all the foot accessories. And I will say... They're not the pleasantest, the most pleasant, I guess, to work with. And I'll explain why. So, first off, we got some basic interchangeable hands. We got these, like, I guess relaxed hands. They're pretty cool. I really like these open hands. These wide, like, style pose hands. Big, long fingers. Then you get this, like, big booty grabbing hand. I don't really know. It's pretty cool. It's got some, like dry brushing on it which is pretty nice kind of looks like dust on there i like that a bit it doesn't go in the hand very nice but i think i might need to just trim up the edge of mine a little bit but it looks pretty cool i like it. it's not my favorite accessory but he does come with some awesome foot accessories though so for the first one you do get these kicking effect parts so 
This is a mace with a, like, it's not functioning spring, but it is like a spring on there. And what you're going to do, get the arms out of the way, pop the feet off. They come off very easily and plug these in there. So we'll try to make it, like, straight. And now pushing these on sucks because it's, it's not a good fit. And some of them are super prickly. I did have to drum out the hole a little bit because it was not staying. Um... And once you get, but once you get it on, it does look great. Yeah, it's not like. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty on. It does look great, but and then the other issue is the legs. These figures, the biggest issue I have with them is they got pretty loose out of the packaging, um, which kind of sucks because like you need the legs, especially for him, to be tight, and they're not so at the ankle or the hip even the knees are a little loose i mean it's not impossible and check my pictures on instagram i actually am pretty happy with a lot of those pictures um they do work it's just not as good as i would hope um then for the left side still we'll do this one on the left side you get this axe i mean look look at the paint on that that is incredible paint work like it feels dirty and i really really like that this one you got to go deep in there though this one, I think, stays on the best. And I, I like that. Like, the swinging, like, whoosh, tsh, whoosh, tsh. That's pretty cool. I like that quite a bit. Again, it, it's definitely going to be a balancing game of getting these. And obviously, these things will spin on there. But it's going to be a balancing game. And it's a little bit more difficult because of the loose joints. And then, finally, we'll put this foot back on because this one is specifically for the right one. You get bigger boot. Looks awesome. Spikes on there. Looks pretty cool. I think maybe I take it back. Maybe this is the one that works the best. I don't really. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, actually, yeah, it looks pretty good. You can get him to stand on the boot, but for the most part, it's meant for him to like, which he can do. It just, it's going to, you got to, your posing skills are going to be tested here. And luckily, I'm an S-tier poser. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'd have to play around with it. Oh, no, I don't. See that shit? That shit looks fire. So, yeah, I really like the paintwork on there. Looks very good. So, I think the accessories are super fun with these guys and really do amp up the fun factor of them. Um, I love super specific character accessories. I always think that that really improves the look on your shelf. Will I be using many of these? Probably not, but I am happy to have them for some cool photos. Finally, let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation, and they are different bodies between him and Zitz, so that's pretty cool. Head goes up that far, down, pivot side to side. And it'll rotate. I actually think the head articulation is pretty damn good based off of the design. It's not really gappy. It works. I like it. Shoulders are going to go upwards. Only about that far they'll go down. They will rotate 360. You do get a bicep swivel. Double jointed pinless elbows and then wrist swivel and hinge. I wish the double jointed elbows worked a little bit better, but they're not terrible. What I was surprised about in a pleasant way is how good the diaphragm joint is. He can crunch forward pretty go far back pivot side to side and rotate very nicely i think that that's a pretty good joint the hips like i said they are loose but they will go out they're on drop hinges which i think was a terrible idea because even without the drop hinge it's going to go forward that much and back and out all the way i don't really know what the the drop hinge adds here stop doing drop hinges um all companies great double jointed knees Again, that are a little loose, and then the ankles will go up and down and pivot, which they are also a little loose too. That's like my biggest complaint with these guys. I think they're fun to play around with, surprisingly fun. They just need a little bit tighter joints. And unfortunately, that problem does carry over into zits. Um, but I think I like him a little bit more regardless. So taking a look at this head sculpt. Jeez, man, those teethers. That's crazy. You get to see... He's got gloves on. The paint on the gloves is very nice. That silver, gunmetal-y color with the buttons on there. And then you do get a nice belt. I like the matte finish for the skin. And then, like, slightly satin on the back. I mean, if their skin's not wet, they're not breathing. So I, it's one of those rare times I think a glossy coat would have been kind of nice. Um, he does have definitely new feet. I think all of it is new. 
like all the musculature is just slightly different. They're slightly a different height. It's interesting because it could have been easy reuse for them, but they didn't do that. Yeah, he's got extra veins in his arms. Obviously, the forearms are different. The hands are completely different. Mus more he like Zitz is more muscular. I don't know, and I like this color scheme better. The only one that has actual like toad colorization is like pimple, but pimple, but yeah, whatever. I really do like the way that he looks, but his accessories are what take this guy to another level. These are some of the craziest accessories I've ever seen. So, all right, let's start with the alternate hands. You do get the same kinds of hands, like the slightly relaxed gripping hands. Um, you do get a pair of the wide open hands. Again, I really like these, but for him... You get an interchangeable faceplate, which I definitely like better. <laughs> He's, like, got a wild face on him. Like, I like that. It's pretty cool. Definitely like that. And then, of course, you gotta get his, like, uh, his fighting pose stuff. But, like, it's, it's incredible. Alright, um, let's start with this one. You get a drill hand, and the way that you're gonna do this is pop these off and just kind of slip it on the hand. It'll go on, and it'll stay very nice. That is pretty cool. I like that a lot. That looks very nice. And then, pop that off. Pop this. Actually, I'll leave that off for now. Then for this side, you're going to get a fist. A giant fist. With spiky knuckles on it. Fisto from Motu would be envious. Put this on here. Boom. And that'll rotate on there, too. I like that quite a bit. That looks awesome. Very clean paint. Map finish. Good quality. Doesn't mess up the paint on this too much. I like that. And then, once you have both hands off, kind of bring them in like that, you're going to get probably one of the biggest accessories I've ever gotten in my action figure collection. This giant wall that he essentially builds. So it's like a... Like a thing on a truck. I don't really know what this is called. Like a giant shovel with spikes on it. I, I don't even know. But you're going to plug his hands into here. It's a little tight, but I mean, I don't really mind that much. Come on now. There we go. And boom. That is crazy. That is a crazy accessory. I have no idea where I'm going to store this thing. What an accessory. That is awesome to me. I think that's a great accessory. The paint is phenomenal on it. And it's light enough to where, like, if you pose it correctly, you can have him... Like, his legs are just loose. His belt also falls off, which I don't even know why they made them like that. Like, why not just, like, make it one piece and attach the belt on before you put the legs on. Like, you can get him to stand like he's deploying this. Like, that is pretty damn cool. That is pretty cool. I really like this. Like, so, yeah. Pretty damn cool accessories. I mean, you get just as much plastic in the accessories as you do the figures themselves. And that's not something that happens too often these days. Especially for this price point. These things are $50. And I think that that is a completely reasonable price. Don't go off of what I said for FYE. I, I hate FYE. That, that's not the basic price for these. They're just a bunch of assholes over there. But, <laughs> yeah. I really, really like them. He looks pretty damn cool. So, yeah. Alright, let's go over his articulation. Head goes up that much. Down. Pivot side to side. And we'll rotate. Shoulders go out that far. Down. Rotate 360. Biceps swivel. His double jointed elbows are a little less than rashes, but I don't really mind. The wrists are also going to swivel and hinge. And then his diaphragm joint is also very good. I think rashes is maybe a little bit better, but not by much. Rotate. His legs sometimes pop out, but not really. I was like hitting it at the wrong angle. Hips go out, down. Again, I hate the drop hinge. Kick forward, back, upper thigh, swivel, double jointed knees. Looks pretty good. And then the ankles go down and up and pivot. So, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I really like the way that he looks, um, the way that he moves, and what he comes with. Pretty solid figure. Here they are next to the NECA Toys King Kong, along with the Jazzars Fortnite Series 6-inch Peely. 
Here they are next to the McFarlane Toys Dark Knight Returns Batman along with the Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men series Darwin. And then finally here he is next to the, or here they are next to the Marvel Legends What If series Zombie Captain America. So, yeah. I think these are pretty solid ass figures. I really like the sculpt of them. The paint is very nice, but the accessories, that's what we like to see. I think the biggest issue here is the QC in the sense of they are extremely loose, and figures like this cannot be extremely loose. I mean, you don't ever want, like, a loose figure, but especially with ones with big accessories that require at least tighter joints. I'm not going to say super tight joints, but tighter joints than are here. I like that they're individual sculpts. I think that that's awesome. And I think that they are really, really fun to add to the video game or, I guess, cartoon shelf. So with that being said, of a price point of 50 bucks for these Maybe it's a little bit of a hard pill to swallow, but I'm going to be honest in saying I think it's worth it. So I'm going to give these guys an 8 out of 10. The looseness definitely is an issue, but I still think they're a lot of fun. So with that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. If you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Letterboxd. I post a lot on all of those apps, and I have a great time, so I'm sure you will too. But as always, let me know. You copping? See you guys in the next one. Welcome on guys, I wanted to hop on here again and thank you all for watching and to let you know that if the following apps interest you, feel free to follow me on them as I put the links in the description for you guys. I really appreciate everything you all do for me, so DM me with any questions or thoughts, I'd love to sit and talk with you all. Again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.